tonight on the discovery of a 35-year-old mother's body in the High Bridge section of the Bronx. Police have now arrested that woman's cousin and charged him with murder. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon spoke exclusively with the victim's family. I'm feeling very um, numb and empty right now. Eugene Butler is struggling to find the words to describe his emotions. He spoke exclusively to CBS 2 News after the death of his 35-year-old sister, Nisa Walcott. Nisa was a beautiful person. She was a caring, loving woman that really loved her family. Walcott's body was found in a plastic storage container Friday. Investigators say a passerby noticed the body on University Place in the High Bridge section of the Bronx and called 911. The day before, her brothers reported the young mother missing after repeated attempts to call her were returned with what they deemed suspicious text messages. The language that was being used was like, wait a minute, that's not my sister. Saturday, grief-stricken members of the community lit candles outside her home in East Harlem. Walcott's father and other brother were too distraught to speak on camera. Her longtime friends say they are horrified by the violence. She was involved with wanting to help people. She was an entrepreneur. She was a beautiful spirit, strong, strong woman. She was a good woman. She did not deserve to be discarded like trash on the street. Walcott's family and friends say her main priority was her 14-year-old son. They say the two were extremely close. He's now with his father, trying to process what happened. She really took care of her son. She was a hard worker. And her last job was working with ACS, so, you know, she was involved with wanting to help people. She was an entrepreneur. She was a beautiful spirit. Strong, strong woman. Walcott's cousin, 21-year-old Khalid Barrow, has now been arrested and is charged with murder and concealment of a human corpse in connection to the death. Her brother is grateful for the quick arrest. This is barbaric. Very gutless. The person who did this had to have been a person with no soul. Because all she wanted to do was, her, was help this person. The family's priority now is that there is justice for their loved one. In East Harlem, Karen Dillon, CBS 2 News.